Gary, good to see you. Can we start, I guess, with form to address after the recent dip and the work that you've been doing as a group to try and remedy that? Uh, yeah, so um, what are we? Three Premier League games without a win um, since the break. Obviously, a couple of cup games in there as well, but league form, three without a win, two of them very tough games, um, Manchester United and Chelsea. Two home performances, Crystal Palace and Burnley, not up to the level that we would expect. Um, and lots of lots of work been done to to make sure that we improve as as always. And are you someone that wants to make that clear that you've got levels and at times you've not hit those levels in, in recent weeks as a group to stay united moving forward? Uh, yeah, the group the group will one hundred percent stay united. I think um that, that will never be in question. Um and we understand the challenge that's uh, ahead of us. We understand where we are in it, um, factually, not just um, not just by the noise and um, and some of the stories that you may see or, or read. So yeah, the actual facts of where we are, we are really clear on. I guess what would your message to the fan base be? You've got big games in the next four or five weeks. I mean, Forest to come, Wolves to come, throwing Manchester City and Newcastle into that as well. It's every game is massive but the Premier League's brutal and it feels like a really important time of the season doesn't it yeah we have a we have a huge yeah the, ne the next few weeks will be big the, the next few months are going to be big we know that so um, as always focus 100% on this Saturday um, so Brentford away um, need to go and put on a real good performance and get every uh, yeah the best out of ourselves as much as we can in every department um and take as much away from Brentford as, as we possibly can on the uh, on the evening. I know you've had some injury issues to contend with and you're optimistic you might get a, a few back this week in training. What's the latest you can tell us? Are you optimistic you might have one or two faces back for this weekend? Uh, yeah, we'll have to see. I think we're going to probably a couple of late calls. Um, seems to be the way at the moment. It has been a, it has been a tough spell on that front, obviously. Um, yeah, the, the the season we've had some tricky some tricky situations to deal with injury wise. Obviously, the loss of Lloyd for twelve weeks was a tough one. Neto when he'd come in and had such a big impact, um, and then Tav as well. Obviously, has been a has been a blow for us. So um, yeah, it's been it's been tough as a as a newly promoted side. Your your your, your big performers you you need, um, and unfortunately we've we've lost a few. Um, but having said that, Grouper. Group are in real good spirits. We we go to Brentford to to put more points on the board. We're almost already halfway through January, and you've stressed Gary on multiple occasions the importance of adding to your group, feeling you need to add to the group, the group that this group that's been together for for much of the last eighteen months almost. Um, what's the latest you can tell us on new faces and your how optimistic you are you can get business done over the next few weeks? Yeah, I think maybe maybe too much was made of that. I think like all. Like the other nineteen, well, but probably more than that, the other ninety-one managers in England, I would like to always try and improve the squad when you get an opportunity. I think, um, as I said, I'm on the head coach, so my my main focus is on the group that I have, making sure we're ready, um, making sure that we perform better than we did against Palace and Burnley, um, and like you say, hopefully by the end of the window we'll have a few additions that. Um, that add to what we've already got. You'll be keen, of course, to have input. Uh, are you encouraged by the conversations you've had with the owner, Bill Foley, about being able to do some business over the next few weeks? Yeah, majority of conversations have been with the recruitment team and, and, and Neil and Richard. Um, but yeah, everyone's working hard, um, trying to get some things done that, that will help the club um, short and, and longer term. Brentford, Thomas Rank's side, I guess, are evidence, Gary, of how you can stabilise yourself as a football club at the highest level, right? What they've been able to do over the last few years. Yeah, I think um, yeah they've done incredibly well. Uh, obviously, he's been there a long time now. as a real clear style. Players understand exactly what are, is expected of them. Um, difficult to play against. No surprise that a lot of their good results have come against the, the top teams because they make it a real tough game. They're, they're direct. Um, they're a real threat from set plays counter-attack threat obviously Ivan Tony as well top of the pitch is a, a handful um, so yeah good side um, know exactly what they are um, and what will be another good test for us you've been with the club a number of years you've have seen up close it seems like Bournemouth Brentford they've played out some significant encounters over over the last few years particularly at championship level as two both clubs tried to fight to get out didn't they 
Yeah, yeah, of course. And then the, the Premier League game here, obviously not the most exciting, but nil-nil, sort of hard-fought game. Um, so yeah, there's, there's there's been some good games between the, the sides. Um, obviously both clubs in, in different situations now, so um, we'll have no bearing on tomorrow. But um, yeah, a, a game that we can go, have a real good going and, and, and hope to take some points from.